everyone welcome to bikini design club today we will be making our sun bottoms this will come in a separate uh, two pieces for the front and for the back so you can create blocks uh, and play around with colors or patterns just like i'm doing today uh, and it will also come on an entire one piece front and back so you can have the option of doing any of those and the back is a bit different uh, on both of them so you can choose which one you prefer so i already went ahead and uh, cut it our fabrics so i cut my lining for the front uh, the two sides and the main front i already cut it the back already pinned the center back seam of my back piece this is the two uh, sides from the back piece so I'm gonna keep them and the same for my main, main fabric already have my two back pieces for the main fabric so I just need to uh, sew over the center back seam and the front like just like my uh, lining fabric already pinned uh, on my uh, two prints uh, for the sides of the front so lining and main now I'm just going to my overlock, I'm going to sew all this and we'll be back. Okay, so now we have here our back lining and main fabric and our front. So let's prepare our back. We have our center back seam. We do the same for the main fabric and for the lining. So we just open this and then we will have our two sides with this amazing fabric that I've uh, made exclusively for us. And this will be available now this Christmas. So if you want to have the fabric, you can buy in one of the kits that we are going to launch very soon on our online store. So just pin the sides to the main piece on your back do the same for the lining and then uh, we can go over to the sewing machine and sew Now that we have our entire back piece ready for the main fabric and for the lining, this is a non-reversible pattern. So we will combine front with front, right sides facing together, and we will sew on the sides and on the crotch area. And we will do the same for the lining. now that our main piece is ready and our lining is also ready comes the interesting part so to start i'm going to cut all the excess threads on both uh, fabrics so that this is more clean and then we will go over to the overlock instead of the regular machine and we will do, do a cover stitch so a top stitch all around the leg holes and our uh, top of the bottom uh, we will also apply the elastic, um, so let's see how this goes. So today we have two options and I'm going to do one of them and then I will remake these bottoms with the one piece entire without this uh, block, this cut here and where I will use the other method of sewing. 
So uh, I'm going to attach the elastic on my overlock as I always do. And then I'm going to do the cover stitch on my overlock with two parallel uh, thre uh, threads, lines, uh, all around. I will do this in two steps. The first step is going to the overlock and attaching the elastic uh, and the two pieces together. And the second will be folding that uh, edge and with the cover stitch sewing over the entire edge. So let's prepare. So we will have to turn our uh, lining to the wrong side and we will face the wrong sides with the wrong sides of our main fabric. So wrong sides facing together. Like this. So after they are like this, since I always like to place my elastic on my lining sides, I will turn them to the lining side like this. And now I'm going to pin all around the top and the leg holes. Okay, so our top part of the bottom is done. Now we just need to do exactly the same on both leg holes. So pin all around the leg holes and so applying the elastic on your lining side so that then we can fold and finish our bottoms. Okay, so our bottom uh, already has the elastic applied and now we just need to fold uh, around the top and the leg holes and you could go over to your regular machine and do a top stitch with a zigzag all around or in this case today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to show you um, how it would be if we would do the zigzag. So here is an example of a zigzag stitch. Uh, made on my regular sewing machine. Uh, so I've applied the elastic and then I folded and did a zigzag stitch on my B38 Bernet. And it looked very good, it looks very nice, but today I want to try something different. If you want, you can also see this one. This is uh, the pattern Nudes. And I did this for myself without lining because this fabric is quite thick and it has the stability that I, I think it's okay for me. So as you can see, I also did a zigzag stitch here and uh, they were ready with the elastic applied with the overlock and then the zigzag. So, but today we are going to do something different. So bear with me since this is also my first time doing it. So let's see how this bikini bottom turns out. So I've been here preparing my machine with the cover stitch because uh, B48 is able to do a cover stitch so I replaced my main uh, threads that are going to be seen on my swimsuit I replaced them by yellow the, the, the one from behind I left white so no problem and uh, I chose yellow because it's the color of my main fabric 
and now I'm gonna do the cover stitch uh, with two lines it, it will be with two threads it will be a narrow uh, two line two threads because I've chosen to be and so let's finish our bottom So this is the final results of the cover stitch made on my overlock. Well, this is, was my first time, so I don't think it's perfect. It has a lot of, like here, you can see it's not perfect. But overall, to show you the result of uh, using this to end, I think I should have placed the threads a little bit more to the edge, but well, I'm learning also, so I think this is a perfect finish and we can we can easily uh, apply this in a lot of swimsuits and a lot of things that we do on our sewing machine. I've actually also tried to see how it went if we did directly with the elastic all at once. So this is the white fabric so that I made, I used for a test and I folded the fabric and just uh, did the top stitch and uh, as you can see on the back it it's completely secure and now and the elastic is inside let me show you and the elastic is inside okay so this is a good finish and now we could just cut here if we wanted to and this will be um, a very nice finish so I think I'm gonna use this in 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 the future uh, more often that um, than the than the zigzag uh, never mind that uh, my seams today are not completely perfect as sometimes I do them much more perfect than today but even so I think this is a nice finish for a swimsuit instead of the top stitch with the zigzag and that's it for today here is a final result. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to keep tuned with all the new uh, tutorials. Bye!